We're going to begin that breaking news. I mean, it's huge it news that uh, came in just news. a little while ago. The Lovey Moon, as you might say, mm. is over. The Buccaneers just announcing that the head coach, Lovey Smith, has been fired. This after just two seasons with the Bucks. Anchor Dan Lucas, our sports anchor, uh, He's gonna is be covering on this. the case. Well, you think about this two season, Joel Glazer putting out the press release, yeah. uh, what, about 35, 45 minutes ago. Six to 10 was the record this season, two and 14 the previous season, and we have the press release by Joel Glazer. Yeah, Joel Glazer releasing a statement. Uh, after careful consideration, we informed Lovey that we have decided to make a change. Josh Benson is monitoring social media for us right now, and there is a lot of oh, talk yeah. already, even though this announcement is brand new. It sure is. And let's start off with the players. Levante, David, a player. ...to have a consistent coach, three coaches in five years. So obviously, he is upset. Other players are upset as well. But let's take a look at what some other people are saying here. This is the first shock of the fire. Well, we've got our first shock fire of the season. This man right here is absolutely right. A lot of people feeling the same way. Big shock to a lot of fans and people all across the sports community. Why don't organizations understand that good coaches need time and talent to build a team? Hashtag Lovey Smith. And this guy says basically just wrong move. He didn't like the news at all. But why? Here's one where we had a separate opinion. Why with the Bucks' poor finish is there such a surprise that Lovey Smith got fired. Now, people were talking, come Monday, would he be fired? Is there even a possibility? Well, as Keith said, about 40 minutes ago, the news came down from the Bucks organization that Lovey Smith is out, and on social media, it's evident a lot of people are not happy with the news. Guys, we'll send it back to you. Oh, a lot of comments tonight. We're